Hello and welcome to SpruceCamp Tutorials by Tormach. In this tutorial I'm going to show um, in SpruceCamp 7 the new way of thread milling. So uh, the, what I have here is a solid model that I have imported and gotten in the correct work position. And the first thing we're going to need to do is um, define the workpiece around this. So right now, the the inner diameter and the outer diameter are, are these are the minimum. So we need to add some stock so that when we cut the threads, you can see the threads being cut. So we're going to go to our machining tab, and you can see a box gets generated around there, but we don't really want that box. We're going to click on that um, workpiece, click on primitive, and we're going to put a tube around the z-axis and we're going to add that tube. Okay, now what we need to do is adjust the thicknesses here so that they are the proper um, thickness for our threads. So we're going to double click on that, open this box over here, and we're going to take the outer radial down about a hundred thousandths. So we click OK. Now we have some in there, but I don't know what's right. So I'm going to try to get it right to that edge, and then I'm going to add a little bit so I know it's correct. So let's take it down maybe a little bit more. To go quite a bit more than that. So let's try that. Almost there. Okay, well that looks like a pretty close fit. So what I need to add now is 45 thousandths of stock all the way around. So whatever I have here, I'm going to minus 45 thousandths. So that should be um, 1.5. So 45, that would be correct. So 115 thousandths. So let's try that. Okay, so that added that amount. Now we're going to do the same thing. The, the outside thread, by the way, is going to be a um, 1 inch 12 thread. And the inside is going to be a 3 quarter 16. And the 1 inch 12 has approximately 90 thousandths worth um, difference in the diameters. And the uh, 3 quarter 16 has about 70 thousandths, so that would be 35 thousandths all the way around. So we'll double click on that, and we will also take some inner radial out. We'll take minus 0.2 and see where that gets us. Oh, we can go quite a bit more. So minus 0.35, let's try. Oh, that's a little bit too much. So we will take just the 3. Not quite there yet. 3, 3, how's that? Okay. So, that's pretty close to what we want. We're going to eliminate this 3. We want 35 thousandths on each side. So we're going to make this 295. Alright. Now we have our stock defined. So we are going to go up to create. And we are going to create a roughing whole machining 5D path. All right, and we'll double click on that. And now I have already made a tool um, for this. It's in my inch toolkit. So I will apply that, go to the library, and it's right here. Oh. This was there, but I want to take it out because it kind of a, gets in the way of this. So all this back end of these numbers are what makes that work. And we're going to make the stem of this one inch. Now what you can see is you have to use limited conical mill to, to make this thread mill. And my thread mill that I have here is, oops, limited conical mill. Oops. 
seem to have got it messed up a little bit. Let's, there we go. I will zoom in on here. And you will see this bottom half is actually the only actual part of the tool. Then this top part that comes in is a part of the holder. So what I have done is the diameter of my tool is 25 thousandths. I put a 60 degree angle on that 25 thousandths. And then I made the height 35 thousandths high. Okay, So it basically goes down on a 60 degree angle. Then by adding these particular numbers right here, I can make that go all the way. I can do the rest of the holder. So you can see I, I put um, a quarter inch right here, and that's a zero depth. And then I want it to go to a depth. I want it to go to a radius or a diameter of 125 thousandths. And I want it to do that in 35 thousandths thickness. And then I want it to go at a diameter of 125 thousandths. And actually, I'm going to change this, take all that out of there, and make this go up one inch. So that's how you will define your single point. Or if you needed to go multi-point thread mills, you could just keep going out a quarter inch, back in to an eighth of an inch, out a quarter inch, back into an eighth of an inch, and you'd make a, a multi-tooth thread mill. So we will replace this with that. Yes, I do. Okay. Our speeds and feeds, we're going to go 5,000 RPMs at 40, because we're just going to take real little cuts on this, but many cuts. Now, in our strategy, we're going to pick our drilling type, which is going to be by spiral. We want to do it longhand. We want to do the OD threads first. Our thread depth is going to be a distance of 45 thousandths. Our spiral step, now since we have, we're doing a, a 1 in 12 on the outside, you have to take 1 divided by 12, and that equals approximately 0.833. And we're going to take this in, let's say, 6 rough passes. And we want a continuous path. Now we'll go over to our return distance. We're going to set that value at 100 thousandths up above. And our safe distance is 50 thousandths. So we'll click OK. Now we're going to pick our job assignment. And we're going to pick the center of this outer surface here. You can see that lights up. There we go. Now we'll click Run. You can see all those paths that get made. Now, let's, now here, here's one thing with uh, thread milling. Most of the time it is not going to give you a green check because um, you will be interfering with the model what, somewhat. So it, it, it's nothing to worry about. It still posts correctly. Um, don't worry about getting a red check instead of a green check. So we can do a simulation. Look at that go. And that's going to go and do this in about six depths. Okay, well, we'll stop that. Now we're going to go back. And we're going to do the uh, inner diameter now. So we're going to click copy and paste. Now we're going to take out that job assignment by clicking clear. And we're going to do the center of that inside surface now. Add that. Now we got some things to change here. Our speeds and feeds and tool will remain the same. We want to do inner diameter threads. Now we're doing a 3 quarter 16. So if you take 1 divided by 16, you get 0 0.0625. 
our thread depth is going to be 35 thousandths and we'll keep all the rest the same. Now I've noticed on occasion we have to adjust the thread depth on the first one. Click run. There we go. Now we can go back and actually make it the way we wanted it, 45,000. So I don't know, it seems to be a little bit of a of a glitch in SprueCam. Alright, now we can simulate both of these tool paths. Oh, there goes the inner one. Let's stop it and we will back it up a little bit. Regenerate from the beginning. And there we go. It's going pretty fast now. And it should look pretty good when it's finished. Now we'll fast simulate it so it's all done. Oops, that didn't work out very well. Let's go back to machining and what we'll do is we'll take out all the, uh, the rough passes and we'll just do this in one big pass so you can see what the finished product will look like. There we go, we will regenerate both of those. Regenerate our stock. You can see the threads on the inside and the threads on the outside. And that is thread milling with SprueCam 7. I hope you enjoyed it.